You're a fantastic looking initiative. Thank you very much. I want to check in with Brittany Bagnell as she's getting us ready for this weekend. She's at St. Norbert Farmers Market getting us ready. Hey, good morning, Britt. Oh, it's a beautiful Thursday to come down to the market. Yeah, let's talk a little bit Just about St. <laughs> let's talk about St. Norbert if we can. For anybody who hasn't been, uh, what can we expect? Okay, yeah, because I actually have never been, I'll be honest with you. What? And I had so much fun researching this. I know, and I'm actually from Winnipeg, but I just, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't. Maybe I didn't know about it or what the case may be, but so many people do know about it. And if you don't, then this is your opportunity to come down this Saturday because they are opening for their 25th year at the same grounds that they've been for the past 25 years. And there's some fabulous Manitoba grown produce, products, make it, bake it, grow it mentality down here. So everything that you can find at the market was made created and done in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. So to tell you a little bit more about that, Marilyn Firth is here and you've been with um, St. Norbert's for a while now. So tell me what people can expect when they come down here. Well, uh, they can basically expect anything that you can make, bake or grow in Manitoba. So it's very exciting. We have lots of vendors, about 115 vendors come down on a Saturday. Oh. So it's really uh, full of all kinds of things. Uh, any kind of meat you can think about, fish, uh, baked goods, uh, veggies, of course, which is one of our favorite things. Um, and then there's all kinds of crafts, jewelry, um, sauces, you name it. You can find all kinds of wonderful things to eat and uh, give for gifts right here. There you, and that's a great idea too because a lot of people want to give gifts that are yeah. made in Manitoba and so that's a great opportunity even if you've got family visiting, p take them through here. Mm -hmm. So what are the days that the market will be open in the summer? We're open Saturday starting this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Wednesdays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And how many people can you expect to come down to the market? Well, you know, when we did number counts last year on a busy summer Saturday, um, we had almost 10,000 people here on a day. And wow. so our, our earlier ones are a little bit quieter and right. our, and our, um, our fall ones are a little bit quieter but by quieter it still can be you know five mm -hmm. six thousand people coming through in the course of the day well not anymore not after this morning Marilyn <laughs> and uh, okay so a lot of the produce all the produce here is Manitoba so how do you ensure that that's from Manitoba we actually have all of our vendors are inspected to make sure that they make bake or grow it themselves and so we really want to make sure we wanted to feel really confident that when we said you're buying Manitoba at our market that you really were and so um, the our membership were a non-profit cooperative that we all kind of got together at a meeting and we everyone agreed that that was a great idea and so we actually send inspectors to each and every one of our vendors. Wow and so 25 years that's what we're celebrating this yeah. year so how uh, what what can we expect for this year? Well we have so much exciting stuff going on this year it's going to be really exciting we have a fabulous opening day planned we're going to have uh, face painters and clowns and live music it'll be lots of fun and then we have a special event every month so we're having a special Canada Day market it's a Monday it's going to be an evening market we're going to have live mm -hmm. music all night and fireworks at the end so if you want to have a really exciting <laughs> fun Canada Day come down to St. Norbert definitely and then in August we're having a fun food day with zucchini races and heritage tomato tasting September is fifth anniversary of our premier dinner event here it's called farmers feast it's fantastic and then in October we're having a giant uh, and weird pumpkin contest so start growing your pumpkins now you can get your your uh, pumpkin starts here at the market on Saturday there will be different vendors selling them so take a look around for that and get going on your growing there get going <laughs> on your growing you heard it here you can come down here this Saturday happening June the 1st at St. Norbert Farmers Market and uh, also you're doing some big expansions in the back right now aren't you? We are it's not really expansion more of a redevelopment of the site we're not getting bigger we're just going to get better and uh -huh. so uh, we've been working with our community partners there is an expansion in terms of around the market we'll have a, um, a community park that's being developed just uh, to the east of the market improving drainage at all the sites around including the market improving our entrances exits better benches better pathways lots more trees okay. so we're so excited lots going on at the, at, the, at the market in the next year or two as we Perfect. continue to develop. Well, if you have been down to St. Norbert before or it's your first time, you're going to expect some lots of new things this year. We're Coming up, we're going to speak with Phil who makes honey and also see a couple of the goats and hens that are down here, maybe even milk a goat. All that's still <laughs> to come on BT on City.